Hey guys, it's Miles Walker. I'm here at my studio, Parhelion in Atlanta, Georgia. Come on in and let's take a look at some of the stuff I've been working on. So inside the studio, got a couple of the records we worked on. Uh, Rihanna's last album, Loud, Katy Perry's Teenage Dream. Over here we have Wiz Khalifa, and it was great working on your boy with black and yellow, black and yellow. Uh, did some records with Beyonce on her Sasha Fierce album. Here we go into the studio, and let's see what we're doing today. So over the course of the, my career, I've had a good fortune of working with Katy Perry, Rihanna, Wiz Khalifa, um, gosh, just a lot of artists, great new upcoming ones, some, some from other countries like uh, Girls Generation and Jasmine from Japan, as well as Timo Matic and Guy Sebastian from Australia. So originally I used to DJ while I was in school at Berkeley. A lot of it was just because I loved music so much, but it was also a great way to make income while I was in the city. So now as a mixer, you know, I'm constantly thinking about how records blend, how they sound in the club, and where they're ultimately going to be played from other DJs or just, you know, people in general listening. That in turn got me to think about the behind the scenes and like, why does this record really work? Is it the sonics? Is it the songwriting? And you know, I'm able to take those thought processes and move it towards how I mix records now. For pieces of gear that are important for me as a mix engineer, obviously a lot of it starts with the Pro Tools rig. And I've got a great uh, HD6 system. I haven't moved up to HDX yet because a lot of the software isn't ready. And um, I'm able to further that sound by using really great hardware and in an interface that I'm really proud of, like the uh, Apogee Symphony IO. It's really great, it's one of the newer IOs that's available and the interconnectivity is great but also it being a modular piece, you can add more I.O. as you need it. There's no faders, so you just assume that like everything is at unity gain. You make all your volume adjustments in Pro Tools, but from there I'm able to interface with all the rest of my analog outboard gear as well as put the sonics of having just a great analog stereo bus. From there, you know, I really do love my mix stream. It allows me to mix analog as opposed to just entirely in the box, which it basically functions as like a 16 channel console. For my monitoring situation, I'm pretty old school and I've worked in studios for a long time, so I'm very comfortable around the NS10s. Uh, of course, with the NS10s being a passive speaker, meaning they don't have an amplifier themselves, you have to pair that with an amplifier, and a lot of the NS10 studio sound comes from that with a 4B, which is the Bryston, one of their higher end amplifiers. It's a very expensive amplifier, but it's also the reason why NS10s have the clarity and definition that I'm used to. So really having a great amp behind a, basically a basic simple speaker can really help you get the definition that you're looking for in figuring out a mix. Hey, this is Miles Walker, engineer for Katy Perry, Rihanna, and Beyonce, and you're watching uniquesquared.com.